Drummers, and welcome to Tim Connolly Drums. To say that I am excited about today's video is the understatement of the century. You're not going to believe what I have here. I'm actually going to throw the snares off because I don't want any buzzing during the video temporarily. I have a Ludwig Black Beauty 6.5 by 14 to the right of me here. And I have a 110th anniversary only 110 were made in the world black beauty five and a half by 14 on the other side so what this drum comes with is a drum key a warranty and a little card that just says it was inspected by somebody and it was approved for sale on june 19th 2019 it also comes with a very important thing, certificate of authenticity, that this was uh, one of 110 made for the 110th anniversary of the Ludwig Black Beauty, the legendary Ludwig Black Beauty. So, like I said, I'm so excited. <clears throat> I have to thank my drum student, Al, who loaned these two drums out to me here uh, today. And uh, maybe I can talk Al into selling them to me. Maybe. <laughs> Al, if you're watching, let's talk. These are absolutely classic drums. And uh, I mean, anyone would want to have these two beauties. So anyways, let's um, get into the specs first. And then we're going to do a little bit of playing. Let's check these two bad boys out.
Ludwig's 110th anniversary brings us this stunning recreation of the 1920s deluxe Black Beauty. One of the most sought after snare drums in the world, the Black Beauty 110th anniversary 8 lug snare drum is about as good as it gets. It's American made, seamless brass finish, is finished in the Black Beauty's trademark black nickel finish. Single flanged, eight lug brass hoops give this snare a classic tone and open tuning pattern straight out of the last century. Special appointments for this drum include a brass plated hardware, tube lugs, throw off, butt plate, and of course, as it is the most respected snare drum and returned to its original form, it also features the 110th anniversary badge. You cannot go wrong with this drum. It is an absolute beauty of a drum. It also comes with Ludwig's black bag that you can open up and carry the drum around in or store the drum in it. it the drum fits in it beautifully and it's really easy to carry, very, very comfortable bag. It also comes with a certificate of authenticity guaranteeing that this drum is what it says it is, 110th anniversary.
One of the primary reasons Ludwig is the most famous name on drums is because of the legendary Black Beauty snare drum, made famous, of course, by Led Zeppelin and John Bonham. The drum is constructed of a seamless beaded 1.2 millimeter black nickel plated brass with 45 degree bearing edges, 10 tube lugs, die cast hoops, P88 AC throw off P35P butt plate, Ludwig 18 strand snare wires, Ludwig coated Weathermaster batter drum head, Ludwig clear Weathermaster side snare side drum head, polished black nickel finish, brass hardware, hardware, and Ludwig Keystone badge. The manufacturing process is quite difficult, so only a very few are actually uh, processed each year. The Black Beauty provides a warm, round, metallic tone that is often imitated but never duplicated. It's a fantastic drum, and you absolutely cannot beat this. It is probably the most famous drum of all time.
that's all I can say. What an incredible drum, both of them. I love both of them. I didn't alter the tuning too much. I just tuned them up to a nice pitch that I like. And um, I just left it there. I didn't do multiple tunings. Uh, most people usually just set a tuning that they like, whether it be low, medium low, medium, medium high, high, super high, whatever you know you like as a drummer. For me, it's usually around medium to medium high. The 5.5 was medium and the 6.5 was medium high. So my conclusions on this drum are is that it's absolutely incredible. I realize that you're watching a video and you can't feel the drum the way I feel it. Now, I'm wearing gloves, or I was wearing gloves because of my hand surgery, and I'm back playing. Yay! <laughs> but even with the gloves, I could feel the sensitivity of the drum. Incredible sensitivity in this drum. You know, there's just certain feels you get off of a drum that just make you feel good and make you want to play it and make you kind of melt. And that's what this drum did. The head on the 6.5 is a Ludwig Weathermaster Heavy, and it's a medium, same head, but a medium weight on the 5.5 snare. And um, whether it was the heavy head or the medium head, the head felt buttery. And what I mean by that is just really smooth when I'm playing it. I could feel the sticks getting a nice bounce, but at the same time, the response off the drum is second to none. Now it's partially the drum, it's partially the head, it's, you know, it's the lugs, it's all that. But this is one of the absolutely nicest drums that I have ever played. And I can see why it's such a legendary and incredible drum. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I wanna thank everybody for tuning in today and checking out these legendary drums. They're both absolute beauties. I highly recommend them. They're not cheap, obviously. The Anniversary Drum, I think it retails for, I don't know, Canadian probably around 22 to 2500, but I've heard that it's worth around three grand. As far as this drum goes, the regular Black Beauty, the 6.5, it's right around the same price range, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe a little bit cheaper than the 110th Anniversary Drum, but it's an expensive drum, but I'm telling you, it's money well spent. Thanks again for joining me, and as always, keep drumming. See ya.